There are a lot of differences within a species. Just looking at the variety of cats or dogs shows us this. Today, we're going to be learning about why we have this variation. Variation is defined as the differences in characteristics of individuals in a population. This is a definition you should learn. So for example, poodles have got curly fur, while Maltese have long straight fur. St. Bernards have floppy ears, while German Shepherds have ears that go really pointy and upright. These are all examples of variation within dog populations. Can you think of any examples of human variation? Now we're going to look at what causes variation. First up are genetic factors. This just means that the genes you inherit from your parents can determine some of your characteristics, like natural eye color. There is a lot of genetic variation within a population. This is caused by mutations. Mutations are changes to your DNA and they're happening all the time, but it's very rare that they actually lead to any physical change but when they do, you get a new variant. Variation can also be caused by your environment. This means any external influences that are changing your characteristics. For example, just dyeing your hair. This changes the color of it. Another example are hydrangea flowers. If the plant is in acidic soil, the flowers will be blue, but if it's put in alkaline soil, the flowers change to pink. And finally, there can be combined causes of variation. And this is where variation is caused by both your genetics and the environment interacting together. For example, skin color. You naturally inherit this from your parents, but if you were to spend all day sunbathing, your skin would darken. Most variation is caused by both your genetics and your environment. Other examples include height and weight. Okay, let's try some quick questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready to go through them. Number one. What is variation? Differences, and we'll use capitals because that's a really important word, in characteristics of individuals within a population. Two, what do we call changes to DNA that causes a new variant? These are mutations. Three, decide if each of these types of variation is caused by A, the environment, B, genetics, or C, both. Blood group. Well, you're born with your blood group, so it's determined by your genetics. Language spoken is your environment, so if you live in Spain, you'll probably speak Spanish. Rat natural fur color. Well, it's the natural fur color, so it's caused by genetics. And finally, height of a tree, that's caused by both. So the plant will naturally have a height that it can achieve, but if it doesn't get enough nutrients, light, water, carbon dioxide, then it won't achieve that. How'd you do? Without variation, we couldn't have evolution. That's what we're going to learn about next over here. And if you found this useful, please subscribe. Thanks and bye.